Hello and welcome back to Atlantis in City Skylines. For me, it's been a while since I've been in the city because I was focused on recording Software Inc. and Evil Genius 2, and that has been a lot of fun, but I always have to come back to City Skylines because I really like it and I really enjoy the game and everything that we can achieve here. But I don't remember what we were doing. So last episode, we've built this area in here. So we basically did a planning session on the, on the suburbs. I just hope I do remember what we were doing. Uh, so this area here, we will expand, or at least that's the main idea, to expand the industry into this area. I think we have a park in this area as well. And this would be a mix of re residential and commercial. And I do want to have a, a mix in this area and all low density. Maybe on this side, I start to transition to high density because of these buildings in here. But we'll see, I, I don't know yet. And then we have this area at the top here. I don't remember what I was doing there. I don't know if I, ah yeah, this would be the um, high, the IT cluster. Yeah, that's what I wanted in there. I think we do have a park in here. That, that's why I didn't have pathways connecting because I used the park to make that happen. And where did we set up that park? So all across this area. So I might replace this um, pedestrian pathway in here with some park connections as well. And not just that, we do have this uh, nature reserve in this area, which will be really, really helpful for us. I, yeah, I think we, not think, I'm pretty sure that we have water in this area. So that won't be a problem. And well, energy, we do have uh, through the roads in there. We have this metro station that goes and connects to this um, line over here. And that goes underground and into this area. So this will be how we actually connect those two sites. And I like that we are filling all the gaps in here and making all these uh, coming together. And I just noticed that we might need more electricity somewhere around here. I, well, geothermal power plants. So it's quite um, green, so does not pollute, but gives just 80 megawatts. Uh, whether the solar warp draft tower gets us 240 megawatts and no pollution as well. We have this ocean thermal energy conversion plant that gives quite a lot actually. But do we have anywhere to put that in? Well, we could go somewhere around that area. I don't know how I need to have access to, to some land. Hmm. So I believe, oh, this is quite a good place for that, actually. There are no residential area in here or anything like that. You know what? This might be a really, really good addition to our city in terms of energy. And this is quite, this is a pretty good place for that, I would say. Why don't we do it in here? I've never used this one, so let's hope it all works for us. <laughs> so let's connect the road. I think which one should we use? We Well, first of all, let me stop this. Let's stop the time to pass. We want this to be close to midday, I would say. There we go, good enough. And then from here, we have these roads. But they're both connecting the same places and the same areas. So I think 
I will use this one. All right, that's good enough, although it doesn't look like it. I just wonder what what is that wonder that I just said wonder. But I just wonder if we could come this way instead. By the way, today, uh, as I'm recording this, I'm also watching the first flight of the Ingenuity Mars helicopter. So I hope that goes well. This will be quite exciting to have something like that happening. It's always nice to see this new enterprise of human beings um, in the in space. I find that quite fascinating. So there we go. We convert changes in water temperature to electricity for the city, a shoreline building generating 480 megawatts. So if you look at energy now, we are pretty good. Don't have to worry about that for quite a long time. Uh, we still have to look at the new buildings for the university. We'll get there. So this area, do I really want to build a park in there? This is quite a large area. We could build... Oh, was I thinking about a factory over there? We do have the bakery uh, somewhere around here. There we go. We do have enough animal products, crops and flour. We are producing pastries. I do hope we are... Yeah, we do have this warehouse with unique factory products, which we are selling. And, oh, we need more money. Is this a constant problem? Let's keep an eye on this. Oh, how much money does this power generator cost us? 6,400 per week. That's huge. I think it might be time for us to disable... Ooh, what else do we have here generating power? <laughs> That's way too expensive. We do only have wind turbines and like that's basically, if we look at that, we do have quite a few. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And how much do they cost? So 13 at 80 per week, that's 1,040. Do we have any updraft towers or is it just in the other city? I think it's just on the or other city. This one only have um, what's called wind energy. So I think I will go back on my decision there because this is basically just too much. I don't think we can. Oh, I said that, and then our money just went up like. Crazy. Let, let's take a look. We are making um, not enough. Maybe let's see how we go. Let, let's keep that and keep building and see what happens. We could reduce like um, the budget for for that as well. Instead of spending nine thousand, we could reduce that. But let's let's go ahead and see what we can do. Again, with factories, we have the bakery over there. And what... Wrong menu. So, what other unique factories we do have in here? We have the lemonade factory. For that, we need um, crops and I think that's plastic, which we are not producing. 
this one or that's plastic actually that's glass yeah so this one needs plastic all right we food factory we need piper for that food and flour do we have any other industry in this area i think that's the only one that we we have i know that we have forestry in, again in arch city but not this one so this tells me that we might need to expand our industry looking at the demands that we have for that as well but all right so we could we could prepare that for what's what's coming is this a good place for that like if we look at food factory would that fit in here oh that was almost I, I could make that happen if we increase that and increase that road over there I think that would be quite good actually and I might do it on this side let me take a look at this and figure that out we might just change that slightly if I grab you and shift you to this side I think this looks good we have the fence over there that's why I'm pushing that as much as I can to that side and if we look closer you can see that we still have plenty of space over there I might just grab it and put it where I want I want to give some space for pedestrians but also make sure that it's close enough to the road and oh too close I think that's close enough and what about this side yeah this looks good so we now have to fix this road basically and the way we can do this it's just by okay i will select this and you understand why i'm selecting all of this in a second um this load as well this one and that one and i think what we could do is this straight enough i don't want to mess everything yeah i think we are fine there and there we go now everything is moving together and i believe this is exactly where we need still have space for the sidewalk over there and everything is where it should be yeah i'm quite happy with this factory in here i might just turn that off because we don't have all the products as you can see we have animal products flour we don't have paper oh we also need plastic in here i've missed that but I'm glad that we have a place for that. We'll keep that and we'll work on this in, in a future episode. But again, this is quite a good place. Why do we have a crossing over here? It doesn't make any sense. This looks better, I think. Maybe the only thing, thing I should do is actually move the just deleted the, the pathway over there so let's change all this I'm just thinking about connecting to this building and if those these roads will allow it because I figured out on the previous episode that we actually need like main buildings like police station and um, medical centers, hospitals, and all that sort of stuff to actually face the this side because on this side they won't work properly. You still have the area of effect, but the cars won't leave to to go anywhere. What's what's happening here? What are you doing? Yeah, that's not a good place for a building over there. and it seems quite hmm let's take a look at this let's look at that and maybe 
increase that corner so they go a little bit faster I might do the same thing over here I think 12 will be more than enough for us and there we go this will allow them to move a little bit faster like this this guy like is this really the place for you to do that no wonder we have traffic like they're all doing that great that's all we need and look at this one why are you just stuck there but all right we do have this one and in mill district we will do have some uh industry over here so i'll get them this space what we might need here are some service i don't think we have yeah, we do have some we do have some smaller areas here with um smaller what's called firehouse and we need a fire department or fire station and i want something a little bit larger in here how is this looking can i add it over here oh that fits really well actually i love that that's really good and for police we might need something in this area because we do have one small here another one small there and nothing around here basically so what i'm thinking is maybe i don't know if we go at the back there or if we get somewhere around here I think like this head has a pretty good area of coverage maybe if we go on this side this will cover this area better and this one as well and that might be a better bet for us so let's do let's do this let's grab you and i want to get you let's see over there hopefully that works if not we move that slightly so what i'm doing in here i'm basically adding some more industry for for that let's get some industry in all these in that area and around here i'm not sure if i want to add industry in this side but we see how that goes I feel like we also need a park in here. I think that would help. Maybe we go with a plaza instead this time. Can that fit over there? It does fit. Good. Okay, just... Ah, let's find that gap over there. I don't think that'll be a big problem. I'm happy with this and industry is already growing so i might do a couple more buildings over there and for now i'll keep this as it is or maybe in here yeah i think we, we can go there so looking at outside connections here we are importing half of our goods this hopefully will fix that for us and we are exporting a lot of agriculture and some goods as well so maybe let's see how this goes and then we will improve that as we go so that's good now we can move slightly and start working on this area over here the first thing that we need this is actually bothering me a little bit because this is too close to the corner there. I think we need to move slightly over here. And this is better now. This area will be low density, right? But in here we'll have higher density. So we might need to start with... So what I'm thinking is that we could have one school in here and this actually might be enough 
if I move this school over here, that means that they all have access by foot over there, and that's close enough to the station. And then we could have a high school. Uh, we do have one in there, which is very popular, I should say. And then, if you look at this, student capacity at 1000. This one has 1300, I think. I don't remember what we are using that increase in capacity. Maybe that's the university. I think we have a building there that actually does increase capacity, which is quite nice, to be honest. And then let's have like opposite to that. And then we might take a look at some parks in here. Uh, maybe let's go with a basketball court. I think that would be good next to that. We will have a park in there too, so yeah, pretty happy with that. Maybe we need to start adding some gates to that. Let me get out of this view so we can see what we are doing. And I guess the main gate could be maybe over here, actually. That'd be good enough. And then we do some smaller uh, side, gate, side gates. And then I do want one in there and there, so we can connect those. And again, let's get out of that. I can hear some buildings upgrading already. So that's quite good. I might remove this one. Where do we go with our park? We finish over there. So maybe we do one there and another one there. So we can remove this. And I want like access basically everywhere. Hopefully everything is connected now, and I do think it is. Good, we have our park. We can detail and add more stuff there later. Um, has that com stopped complaining about... Yeah, it did, about... Um, power? No, I'm... I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so looking at this, then we are ready to zone so what do we want to have here maybe let's start with um commercial so definitely this area will have some commercial so one thing that i think i forgot here as always is to make this and uh, not on the right place again residential and make these self-sufficient buildings they should all be like that i think yeah i'll make them all like this i'll make another parking here nice yeah so this is ready now and for this area specifically i think we can make them organic and local produce i think that'll make this area a lot more interesting than it usually is. And let's see what these buildings look like. But yeah, we do have our, some commercial in there. Do we want more commercial? That's a very good question. I'm not sure if I do around this area as well. By the way, the Ingenuity Mars helicopter just made their first flight. That is pretty cool. I think that's that's amazing. So yeah, I'm I'm just watching the the helicopter hovering all around. It's pretty cool, actually. 
I hope you've you've seen that when this video uh, goes up because I it's it's exciting. I love it. So there you go. We have this, and maybe we make this like a whole um, commercial area. And as I mentioned on the other episode, I don't want any buildings around this slope here. So this would be all and uh, not protected areas, but this would be all there. So in here, whoops, not that one. Thank you. And can I do it in there as well? That's a weird place over there. So not so sure. But anyway, let's go with residential now. And I think I need to turn on this again. So we don't have like trees in the middle of the road and all that stuff. They definitely need more people now and probably not enough workers. Yeah, so it's just people. Hopefully these will fix that and give them uh, easy access to that area as well. Now thinking about public transport, I don't remember if I did. Yeah, we do have this bus coming into this area. I'm just wondering if it's worth getting a bus in here, but I don't think so. Not yet, at least. We do have... I don't have a line in here for the metro. That was a mistake. So let's fix that. Let's get a line running from here to there, there, and there, and all the way back. There we go. And then do we have, not this, do we have vehicles available or just one? I think we just one, yeah. How many do we want? Probably two will be more than enough. At least for now, we don't have enough people there to make this any better. So it's all good. The industry here is already built. So yeah, that's quite nice. Now for, oh, I spoke about a medical center and we don't have enough in here. So what I'm thinking, is that we might have a big hospital somewhere around here. I think that would work, especially with the metro station over there. I think we can go in here. That will fit quite nicely in there. And yeah, that looks pretty good in here. I am happy with that. Just this building needs to go away, please. So <laughs> they will delete that soon enough. That's all right. And yeah, I think that'll be more than enough for this area. They'll probably start like upgrading and uh, why are you not happy? Uh, it's still under construction, of course. This one, yeah, all good. They probably need to be educated. So this will take a while to happen, but we, can see the new buildings, especially the commercial buildings here. This one is the eco market, and that's quite exciting. We do have some people using this metro line now, which is pretty good. I like that. And over here, so what are we doing on this side? We're probably using. Do I make? this whole row as high density. This one is a guess for sure. This one, I might do that. Let's do this one. And from here, I will change it. Let's make it like all the way over here. Let's grab all this and make that high density and then we will transition to a low density and there we go thank 
this would be more than enough for us. Our schools, they do have enough capacity for what we need at the moment, which is great. And this is great. So, okay, I'm happy again with that. And this area is growing. So, really nice stuff over there. And what about here? Our final little area. By the way, we still need to build the uh, National Reserve National Park over there. So this will be an office park and basically this will be an IT cluster. I remember saying something about the layout of this, but to be honest, I'm not quite sure what I was thinking. We do have this park in this area as well. So I think I want to add some unique buildings in here. What could we, could we add over there? This would be good in this area. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at what we can have in here. We have the transport tower. And so this is a requirement for building the space elevator, which I saw your comments, it's coming. Uh, but again, we don't have all the buildings that we need and uh, there are quite a lot of things that we need to unlock yet. So this might be a good place for that actually. Can we fit this over here? I think this would be a good area. Any other nice building and tall building that we can add in this area? We do have the observation tower. And this increases the effect radius of all parks and plazas by 10%. And you know what? This would be quite a good area, especially if you consider that you are pretty tall in here. And it just higher than the, that other building over there. And what would you do? Maybe get a more central area for this, but we do have this road that will get in the way. Let's see. Yeah, I might have to go just over here. Oh, this area is turning out to be great. I want to see how this looks with all these um, big buildings from the IT cluster. So let's stop talking about this and let's do it. We not have like all tall buildings because the way and the the shape of the road in here, but we have some nice looking buildings in this area. What do you think we should build in this park? I don't know if I want to build a simple city park or an amusement park, maybe. I'm not completely sure yet. And I probably want to figure out something to do here in the middle, just to be, to make something nicer. But there we go. We are getting those tall buildings. Let's speed this up a little bit so we can start to see how this area will look like. Like this will overlook the whole city and look how nice that is. I really like that. Good, that's very good. And we finished an academic year report and we produced two works, Lord of the Sherps and the Dazzling Unicorn, a colorful superhero comic book of a free spirit unicorn wanting to do good in the world secret created by CO Best Test. All right, did we change we lost some students and we actually went down. That's no good. So let's take a look at the university. I know that we did have more buildings available in there. But to be honest, I don't remember which ones. So Libera Arts Groundskeeping, we have that. Drama Club, we have that over there, I believe auditorium so this might be new 
I'm just looking at the shape of the roof over there to see if that's somewhere else. And I don't think we have that. So where should we add this? We have this area over here that we left unused and this might fit quite nicely over there. We could put it over there or over here. Let's see how that looks. I'm concerned about the back, but it will fit just right. Oh, no. No, that's bad. <laughs> that looks awful. Let's move that. Yeah, it looks like a better place for this. I think I'll leave that over there. And then we go back to this. Um, laboratories. First, the auditorium. So, increase student capacity in campus area attractiveness. So, we will start getting more students. And the laboratories, they will increase student capacity, campus attractiveness, while also boosting academic works creation. All right. This sounds something good to have. It's getting hard to get these buildings around here. But I think we can manage to get this. I don't know if I bring another road straight over there and add this on the side. You know what? I will do exactly that. So let's go back and grab that laboratory. Oh, we have this one that's big. And there we go. This will fit quite well in there. Let's just see if I'm not going over anything. No, this is perfect. I left this on purpose so we can fit something else in there. And then finally, the liberal arts bookstore. So this will increase campus attractiveness, tourism attractiveness, and land value. All right. This is quite nice. And this might fit there. Or there are a few areas that I think we could do, but that's so nice slope. So that's what I'm trying to be mindful of. Maybe in there. Let's see how that goes. Campus bookstore. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'll just fix this slightly. So we have all buildings of, from the university, we just miss, or we just need these three. By the way, those two, they are special buildings, and as I mentioned, uh, these increase higher student capacity, school of education, and the school of environmental studies. That, what is that, that? Reducing garbage accumulation in the city, yeah. So couldn't be happier about that. Now, yeah, let's let's leave these other areas open and see how this goes. We need more students again. We'll see how that goes. I it seems like we need more police in this area as well. Let's see, might need a smaller station. Will that look good in here? Let's take a look. Look, I think that's fine. And the good thing about this is that it's close to the ferry station as well. And I think that makes sense, to be honest. Car park is full. Car park is doing well there. Halfway full. So yeah, that might help with that area and it's all good all traffic in here is getting worse and worse but you know what i think we we are fine no big issues there and how is this area coming along they are finally starting to upgrade as you can see it's just a matter of getting them educated looking at this yeah they're still being educated in elementary school and we need more uh, commercial areas. Looks like it. 
Is there anywhere in here that we want to add that? I don't know, maybe this corner over here and maybe this one as well. So why not? Let's give them a couple of options and make sure that they have access to any commercial areas that they need. But yeah, I think we had some good progress. 35,000 people in here. And one thing that I want to take a look and to show you is basically looking at our um, services and seeing if they are facing the right side of the road there. For example, this one is facing this side. So we have bicycle paths on this one. So cars can get in and out. This is not a hospital. So and this is the one. And this is wrong. As you can see, pedestrians, uh, bicycles are on this side and on this side. So I might need to change that. And although I don't like to change just one side, what I could do actually, I could use this one over here. Just make sure that they have two options to go that way. And now we have car access to this area, to this building, rather. So this is, should start working better. And hopefully this also improves this area a little bit more. I will go through it and take a look at uh, any buildings that we might have, like this one. And make sure that they are all uh, set up properly. So perhaps you do the same with police. For example, this is on the right side of the road um, with fire station, the same deal over here and just making sure that everything is where it should be. So no big secrets in there. It's just a matter of the right side of the road like this one. Although people eh, have been able to use this one. But yeah, I need to change that road as well. But I'll do that off camera and I just love these buildings. These are the self-sufficient buildings, by the way. And they look great. Oh, look at our IT cluster now. This is looking amazing. I really, really like that. So we might have to take a look at public transport in this area because at the moment, I do, I don't have one station here, don't I? Yeah, I do have one in here. And we need some water treatment. So what do we have here? We have some normal factories, let's call it. I'm thinking that we could do around this area. How much pollution does this take? Not much, actually. If we look at this, the inland water treatment plants. So we do have 45 pollution and the advanced one, which is the one we, ne we need, just seven pollution. So this is actually okay if I add this over there, for example. Yeah, I'll add it here. Because then we get away with trucks trying to get on these buildings through the uh, square about in here. And that'll be better for us. Now, to provide water, I know that we have some water towers around the place. And I think I want to keep doing that. Like, for example, this region here is exactly a place that will work for us like for example in here we could just have a water tower in there it does have some noise and i have to consider that let me take a look we have some residential in here i might get away with having these around here or even hmm, in this area over there would this have enough water 
uh, power if I do that. Let me see. Let's get that over there. Yeah, I think we're good. We don't need, doesn't seem like we need power for that. So then I guess water issues are gone. Uh, electricity issues are gone. And we are all good, actually. Oh, one thing that I want to put here before we go again. Sorry, I keep extending that. So the elder care, this is one building that I really want to have in this area. And then the child care or child health center. This will go, I think that'll be all right. Yeah, it goes in a little bit, but I think that's not too bad. The same one, yeah, this one I don't like. So let's just try to smooth that a little bit. more than enough there and still looking good and now we have these nice buildings and as you can see people are upgrading because they're finally being able to study there we go so how are we let's take a look at this average zone buildings so we are now moving into uh, level 2, which is fantastic, and population in this area, um, 800, 1800, sorry, and growing, hopefully. But there you are, I think we are good for today, we are making good money, as I can see. We spent quite a lot of money, especially with these unique buildings and monuments in there, and these needs uh, to be considered. But we are making a steady income and I have no worries about that. So this whole area now has been filled and we are finally integrating all these uh, new areas that we have here. This is the newest addition to our city and looking like this, you can see that uh, this was the first area we expanded in here over there, over there, and over here. This area that I mentioned that I had good plans for that, I want to add a, a nice airport in, in that area. I think that will work. That will work really nice for us. But look at that, we don't have that tile yet, and we've managed to grow quite a in here. There are still a few things that we need to do here. We do need a park in this area, or uh nature reserve over here and detail all these around this uh this area over here and probably expand a little bit our farming area and i do want to start our forestry industry so we can use this factory that's uh, disabled for the moment and also um i think we need or industry to make glass or I'm not I'm not sure I think that's oil industry and we'll have to take a look at that as well so we have a supply chain of the materials that we need and we can do all that still a lot of room to grow as you can see plenty of space over here over here and over there actually all this area here if you look like this you can see that the border goes all the way here we can still across uh, the river in that area and yeah that'll be pretty cool traffic has gone down a little bit in there i do believe that we need to change the way we connect into this main road roundabout would be the ideal thing there but uh i didn't want to put a roundabout on this road but we'll see now i'll get to a point where we We'll manage this and see how that goes. Maybe we see where everyone's going and try to fix that with public transportation or cargo. Uh, this area has no cargo stations at all, just uh, metro. So some cargo stations here would be 
really great for the traffic in this area. But that'll be for another episode. I really do hope you enjoy this episode. I am really excited with this new expansion that we did and quite happy on how this is actually looking right now. Especially this uh, IT cluster that we've built in here. This is looking really, really nice. And I hope you, you also uh, enjoy this. If you have any ideas for future episodes, please let me know. One of the things that I'm looking at uh, that was mentioned in the comments as well is um, some uh, golf course. I don't know if I'll fit this in this city or in Arch City, and, but this will happen eventually. If you have other ideas, let me know as well. A space elevator is coming. We have a couple of fires burning in the city now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, leave me a comment. And if you want to have a longer conversation or ask several questions or just have a chat about anything, join my Discord server. The link is in the description. And don't forget to subscribe so you see what comes next. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.